Hello, my name is Andy Hong, founder and mother of the Church of Korean Girlism. Our practice is simple. It's about being a Korean and being a girl. I was born and raised a devout Chinese girl. You know, I practiced and breathed Chinism. I believe knockoffs were God's gift to mankind and you know eating cats was okay for Saturdays but I just started watching Korean dramas you know just to just to lighten the load after a hard day's work of manufacturing shoes and I was so shocked and surprised that these Korean women were getting two guys to fall in love with them at the same time I was like I want a piece of that action and that's when I found the Church of Korean Girlism. Just look at me now. I've got two healthy boyfriends. But it wasn't always easy. You call it a selfie? We go harder! And what is this? A three-year-old phone? You cannot be in Korean society with three-year-old phone! You gotta buy a new phone now! Okay, okay, I'll buy a new phone. Uh, I'll rob from my parents. It's fine, it's fine. Our church also offer kimchi, traditional Korean food we've been consuming for thousands of years. What is kimchi? It's just very salty cabbage. Package real good at PAT. Mmm. Salty. My father is devout white trash, so white trashism has basically been my life up until now. And I grew up in the same trailer that I was born to in. And I married my brother. And then we divorced and I married my cousin. And I divorced his sorry ass because I found out he'd been cheating on me with his own sister. And it was right then and there that I was like, I gotta get out of here. And I met Mother Andy. She literally changed my life. And that's when I converted from white trashism to Korean girlism. And I couldn't be happier. All I do is sit around eating kimchi and watching Korean dramas all day. But the path to becoming a Korean girl wasn't so easy. I can't! I can't! You can call yourself Korean until you pass this test! No. It's not spicy! It's not spicy! Mm. If I can eat it, you can eat it too! No! Our church is open to everyone. We're the original inclusionist, even to boys. I was an atheist for a long time. I don't have a job, I've never really had a job, but I live in my parents' basement and I play video games all the time, that's what I do. And uh, while I play everything from Where's Waldo to Barbie's Adventure Hunt to My Little Pony's Rainbow Dash, but everything turned around once I found StarCraft. That game changed my life and really picked me up out of the dumps. I wanted to be everything StarCraft, and luckily I found Mother Andy. She taught me the ways of StarCraft is all about being Korean. But the Church of Korean Girlism, you have to become a girl, so I had to do it, but it was surprisingly easy. Oh, there you are. Am I a girl now? Yes, you are. Thank you, Mother Andy. You're welcome. Oh, so, so pretty. We have mass every Sunday in which everyone engages in and participates passionately. Who is Chrome and where's my character? Am I even playing? Where are you guys? I'm getting eaten alive out here. Uh, I've got my own base to worry about. 
I just died, you little bitch. Oh, shut up, you whore. I'll kill you. No! Oh, no, she did it. Girl fight. Girl fight. Girl fight. Girl fight. Please, everyone, join our Church of Korean Girlism. We're waiting for you.